Let's get into our next conversation. We are looking at Africa Automation Technology Fair and Future Manufacturing Africa Trade Fair and Summit. Now, reports by Engineering News is that Africa's automation and manufacturing industry is thriving. And here to help us further elaborate firstly on these two events and essentially get into the thicket of what the automation and technology industry look like in the context of Africa is Philip Woods, who is a events director for business and technology at RX Africa. Hello to you, Philip. Good afternoon, Shayla, and good afternoon to the listeners, and thanks for having me. No, thank you for joining in on the fun. I'm I'm really excited. Um, I had the opportunity of just looking at the different industrial revolutions that have taken place. You know how we always get to this place where you say fourth industrial revolution. I never understood why we marked it as the fourth, you know. And I found out that the very first was in 1784. The second took place between the 18, uh, I think it was in 1870, the third in 1969. And today, obviously, we sit here with the fourth industrial yep. revolution. Walk me through what the state of the fourth industrial revolution is like in the context of automation and technology particularly in the african continent yeah so i, I mean i suppose one of the big strides with uh, the fourth industrial revolution was what i'm talking to on now the uh, the mobile phone uh, and all sorts of it uses digital technology digital technology is all about uh, the fourth industrial revolution so 3D printing is another big one that um, is totally changing the shape of um, manufacturing business. So, um, yeah, it's that's why it is such a big thing, because it is having such a large impact on uh, the economy, the world, and, and us as individuals as well. I think one thing that I sort of caught on to in terms of technology and automation is that uh, particularly in the man, uh, manufacturing spheres, Africa is known to rather import uh, manufactured goods as opposed to, you know, cultivate our very own. Do you think events like Africa Automation Technology Fair, as well as Future Manufacturing Africa Trade Fair and Summit, encourage people to step into the world of manufacturing and really to truly harness the technology that is currently available to the African continent. Yes, I think you basically hit the nail on the head there with the, the purpose of the, uh, the two uh, shows. What we're trying to do is very much encourage the circular economy so that if you are producing a raw, raw material in one country, rather than exporting that to another country for it to be processed and then import it back to use here, much better to produce it locally, manufacture it locally, and then obviously sell it locally, which um, helps everybody within the uh, continent and the economy as a whole. That's fantastic. Now, I want to get into what exactly will be taking place at both events. If you can give us just a highlight reel of what to expect uh, in 2023 when it comes to both events. Sure. Um, so firstly, obviously, it's an exhibition, and um, the exhibitors are both local and international companies. Um, the Automation and Technology Fair is very much companies that supply component parts for manufacturing, whether that be a robotic uh, arm that does welding or what have you, or it could be uh, conveyor belt systems or valves, all sorts of things that are used within the technology and manufacturing space. Um, and most of those are locally made products. Uh, some obviously are imported. Um, we're, we are a very specialist country, but we're not specialists at everything. And um, so if you are, have a manufacturing uh, business and you want to expand to make different types of widgets or glass or whatever it might be, then you come to the AATF side of the show to force the equipment to do that. Whereas future manufacturing is where you might be a, a person, say, in Egypt, you've got a whole lot of grain that you normally export, but you decide that you want to manufacture your own bread locally. So you would come to future manufacturing to find a machine that does the whole process from start to finish Mm. Whether it's on a small scale or a large scale, you should be able to find a complete bakery system that will um, help you in producing the bread that you would have made from your, your grain. 
Right. I've two yeah. questions and we are a bit pressed for time, so I'm hoping that you'll be able to just chop booth into one answer. So I want to firstly find out how can an entrepreneur with a business that is suited for these particular events um, be a part of the conversation, a part of the event as well? And secondly, this is November, November's Entrepreneurship Month. How are you utilizing this month in order to attract more of your desired target market in terms of both events? Okay, so we're using the event um, as a springboard for highlighting entrepreneurship within Africa. Um, And we're focusing, obviously, on some of the companies we are aware of that have started small and um, maybe three employees. Oculus is one that comes to mind. They've now got 20 employees, and most of that growth has happened in the last 10 years. So that's part of the, the process. And then we're just trying to make people aware that we have at the event a whole educational section of workshops, conferencing, etc., to give people the tools to perhaps embark on that entrepreneurship journey within the manufacturing sector, um, albeit whether it's a new business or one that they're trying to grow and expand upon. Mm. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to yeah. seeing what unfolds as well. Thank you so much for your time, Philip. Absolutely appreciating your presence on the show. And we look forward to hearing from you again uh, pertaining to these two particular events. Awesome. Um, it's been great talking to you, Sheila. And obviously, we do have two websites um, that people can go to to uh, get that information um, of what's going on. May I just share yes. those with you? Yes, please. Uh, so the one is Africa Automation and Technology dot com and the other is future manufacturing africa dot africa and there are links there to give you all sorts of information and to be able to contact us etc the voice of philip woods who is a events director for business and technology at rx africa helping us further understand what will be taking place in 2023 particular to africa automation technology fair and future manufacturing africa trade fair and summit